Data Inc. leverages digital sketching and data manipulation to enable the creation of whimsical and personal visualizations. Let's take a look at how our tool works. We'll start with a data set created by recording details about the dogs we encountered this week. We can hold the glyph panel and select our drawing to use it as a template glyph to populate the canvas. Tapping on each dog reveals its attributes. Let's change the glyph to match the dog's fur color. Lassoing around the face of a glyph reveals its visual attributes. Changes to the fill color automatically propagate to the other dogs that are using the same glyph. Dragging the visual attribute into a data attribute socket creates a mapping between the two. Now, changes to the glyph fill color only affect glyphs representing dogs with the same fur color. We can also go to the legend to quickly map the rest of the fur colors. Let's also make the eyes white so they'd stand out. Next, let's visualize the leash color attribute. We draw a new shape to represent the leash, select it, and map its fill attribute to the leash color data attribute. If we make a mistake, we can break the mapping by dragging the attributes apart. Now, we can quickly map the possible leash colors like we did before with fur color. We can also use the layout panel to quickly distribute the dogs by leash color. Looks like black leashes are in style! Let's also take a look at some other attributes. This attribute records the gender of the dog owner. Now, when we tap on one of the groups, the attributes for the set are shown. We can change the layout within the group by tapping on the distribution attribute and drawing a new distribution path. We can also order the dogs by fur color by dragging the order attribute to the color attribute. This layout isn't working for me. Let's represent the dog owner's gender in the glyph instead. We draw some new strokes, select them, and map the new shape to the owner's gender. We create a new shape for the dogs with female owners. Now let's remove the layout because the glyphs reflect the same information. Let's try switching up how the leash is represented. I'll create a new shape here for the leash. I want to reuse my previous mapping. We can hold the mapping and select the new shape to transfer the existing mapping. We can now expand the fur color binding to include the unmapped shape that looks like a tail. Let's try another layout. How about fur length? We can highlight each group using the corresponding attribute in the legend. Let's arrange the groups along this axis, from short fur to long fur. I'll distribute each of the groups into blocks by drawing a series of paths. Oops, let's redo this distribution to match the height of others. We have just created a data visualization by sketching and directly manipulating the mappings between data attributes and visual attributes.